Hi everybody, welcome back to Be The Brief, my name's Ross and this video is a 7 month update on my Waterbox Peninsula Mini 15 gallon. Ok, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been already, thanks very much for joining us. If you have been here already, then thanks very much for returning. Really appreciate everyone of you who have subscribed recently. If you haven't subscribed, if you could consider it, it would mean a massive amount to me. So yeah, we'll take a look at the tank now. Um, in fact, before we do that, I want to run through a couple of things first. Um, not really much has happened drastically on the tank this month. Um, I was slightly overfeeding, uh, so feed-wise, I feed the probiotics, um, New Life Spectrum. Now, this is the small pellets. They're actually really quite small in there. I think they're only... I don't know. They're small anyway. Um, it's one of the smaller ones, so clownfish actually love them. Uh, so I've been feeding that to the clowns, but I've probably been overfeeding to be honest. So I had noticed the phosphate level starting to creep up in the tank a little bit. So cut back the feeding and um, noticed that it dropped back down again. So that was all that was. Um, no kind of big deal as such really. Um, parameters wise in the tank, so obviously my ammonia and uh, nitrite are sitting at zero. My nitrate sits about 10 ppm on that, which I'm happy with for, for my tank, it seems to enjoy that. Um, Phosphate and alkalinity I'll come back to. Calcium sitting at 440, magnesium sitting around about 1300. Um, my pH is 8.2 and my salinity is 1.025. So that's the parameters of my tank. Like I said, I'll come back to phosphate and alkalinity because I did make a new purchase this month. Um, first one was the phosphate HANA checker and then I got the alkalinity HANA checker as well. So that's the two HANA checkers that I've bought recently. I say bought, um, I did win a competition on Instagram that gave me £100 to spend at Reef Exotics. So thanks very much to Reef Exotics for running that competition. Um, so I won £100 to spend there, so I got two HANA checkers for £40. So can't really complain at that, I had to go for it. So yeah, they've made quite a big difference actually. So jumping into the phosphate one, my phosphate readings with the Salifert test kits that I was using was around about 0 0.03. Um, I was always really happy with that, you know, I, th I thought that was pretty much perfect. I've compared that to the HANA checker and the HANA checker is reading 0 0.08. So, again, I'm not unhappy with that, I think that's a really good reading, um, as long as it stays there. So, you can't really compare two tests to each other and think one's out or one's not, you just need to stick with one and go with that. There's no point in chasing figures, just get a steady balance. So. I'm now on the HANA checker and that's shown 0 0.08 so I'll just monitor that um, every week. I usually test my water on a Wednesday. Um, sometimes I test it before I do my water change just to see as well. But um, Yeah, so phosphate is 0 0.08. And then moving on to my alkalinity. So again, um, got the HANA checker for this one. Now, the alkalinity on the Salifert test kit was reading around about 8.2, 8.3 I think it was if I remember right. Um, now with using the HANA checker it's actually 7.9 so not a million miles away um, I still like my, my Salifert test kits, I've still got them all here and I still use them for everything apart from these two so the Salifert test kits are good HANA checker is just that little bit easier to read the test results um, I kind of always said that I wouldn't go down the HANA checker route but I have so yeah anyway that's the first new item I suppose this month um, I've got a wee tip coming up that I think will be a good one but before that Another new item that I got was this flipper scraper, I think it's called. Now I got this from Kraken Corals. If you are looking for one of these, I looked for one of these for a long, long time and I couldn't get them in the UK. You can get them in America, no problem, but in the UK I just couldn't get it. So, obviously it's an algae scraper and it has got the kind of foam pad on the back and the blade in the front. Now the thing that I really, really like about these is you can remove this little blade here and you can turn it round, you can use that edge, whatever you want, but also now this is the nano one, so this is a lot smaller, but the other ones are bigger, and this one does accept it too. But if you damage that blade, you can just use a room key, a credit card, a store card, anything that you've got, and it fits in that slot there. Now, the bigger ones, like I say, will fit it right in the same as that. This one, because it's slightly longer, it does stick out a little bit. So you could cut it in half, put it in that way, and it'll show up like that. This seems such a simple thing, but it's probably one of the best things I think I've bought in a long time. It lets you get into those bits that you can't quite get with a magnet and so on. So yeah, really really like this. Kraken Corals do these, I'll put a link in the description for them. Um, yeah, fantastic. Speaking of Kraken Corals, I don't know if you want to see behind me here, but I did get some 3D printed stuff from Kraken Corals as well. 
So I think I've got some little clips of that, I'll put that in here just now and show you that before we go into the big hitter. Um, I think you'd be impressed with the big hitter one anyway, but here's the Kraken Coral 3D printed stuff, I'll show you that now. So, first thing i got is this floating feeder kit. Now, this is actually a really good idea, it's, it's a sealed kit in here, um, floats on top of the water and allows you to feed the fish. So we'll open this and take a look at this just now. So again, it's got the, the kind of hydrofolic, hydrofolic? The, again, it's got the kind of, um, I don't know what you call this actually. Fancy pattern anyway. Okay, so, what you get in this kit is you get the actual floating feeder itself, which is there. Now as you can see it's completely sealed in there, so there's air in this bit here which allows it to float. So that's completely sealed. You can put your frozen food in there and it just thaws out and drops down. Now, really, really I've been impressed with these to be honest with you. I mean, great, great quality. So what happens with this is you get this little clip here. Now this little clip goes on to the side of your tank. So that sits on there. You get this little bar that you put down in there. It holds onto that. This floats on top of the water. And it's actually quite a tight press in here to get it in so it doesn't fall out. And once it's in there, that's that. So that'll go like that, float on top of your water and you can put your food in it. So yeah, that's the floating feeder from Kraken Corals. Really, really impressed with that. I really like that bit actually, it's, it's nice. So. Um, second item that I got, in fact I'll go to this one first. So second item is the single frag holder. As you can see here, this is a kind of neon yellow colour. Really, really bright. I mean, under that light it looks incredible. So I'll open that again um, and take a look. Okay, so this has got a kind of square base in it, so you could probably put one of the square tiles in there if you wanted to, or the normal frag plug. Um, and it does come already with the rubber in the back there, the suction cup, and they give you a spare suction cup as well, which is really good because you know yourself they kind of go off after a while. So, um, branded with cracking corals on the actual holder itself there. Um, yeah, just a really, really nice holder. Um, yeah, again, I, I think I believe this kind of back chamber here. Um, if I just look, I don't know if it's completely sealed, so it might have some air in it, which will actually help you, you know, keep that up off the bottom, which is quite a good idea because you know that the weight of that's going to pull down a bit. So, yeah, that's the single frag plug that I got. Um, and then the third and final thing here is the triple frag holder. So again, that's the one, holographic. There I got there in the end. That's the holographic packaging that it comes in, um, quite nice. So we'll open this one up, take a look. So very similar to a single frag holder, apart from this is a triple one. Um, really nice, I think you see there are kind of rounded edges and so on on it. Again, a bit at the back, so this, this will be able to hold some amount of weight actually. Um, with a square cut out there and the round holes, um, kind of textured finish on the back, which is really nice. And overall, actually, I'm really, really impressed with this. To be honest, I like that texture on the back. I don't know quite if you can see that well on the camera or not, but a nice texture there. So, yeah, that's the three bits that I got from Kraken Corals. Um, I'll probably show you these in the tank just so you can see what they look like. And yeah, that's them. Yeah, so I really like the 3D print stuff from Kraken Corals, I think it's fantastic. Um, once again, thanks so much to them. I'll put them in the, in the description below so you guys can check them out. Okay, so the one that you might have been waiting on, or might not, I don't know. This is my big hitter item, right this one. Now, hear me out on this one before you jump in. If you've been on the live streams, which we do every Friday night, um, that's myself, Paul from Fish Palace, Jay from Jay's Real Reef UK, and Steve from Moggsy's Aquarium. Four of us got together, we do live streams every Friday night. It's 8 o'clock UK time, um, so that is on one of our channels. We just rotate it every week. Um, you can check out our Instagrams to find out who's it's on each week. But on the live streams the other night, I discussed this hack, if you want to call it, that I found, um, and it's actually been one of my better ones, I think, to be honest. So this came, again, like I say, hear me out on this one. This came from watching a YouTube channel called The Sheep Game. So I'll link the sheep game in the description so you can see it just in case you're interested. But this is actually a, it's a Scottish guy 
um, Cammy Wilson his name is, and he is basically a kind of small sheep farmer, um, sheep shearer so on. So he gave me the idea for this hack next for the reef. Now you all be wondering where this is going, but was watching the videos and saw something that Cammy was using and I thought that's that's a good idea, I need to use this for my reef tank. So, went online and I got myself this little packet here. Now this came from Amazon, so again, um, I'll put a link in the description below, they're not affiliate links, I don't, don't do affiliate links, so you know you don't have to worry about that, but long story short, what these are, are lambing gloves. So, it means that if you want to put your hand in your tank, which Jay, I know you do, um, I've been guilty of it as well, there you go, you can now go elbow deep in your tank. So I put these on, you can dip your hand right in, as far as you want, the elbow, you're not going to get anything off your hand, Anything. there's no powder on these, they are completely powder free, so there's nothing on this that can go into your tank. Now, yeah, you look a bit stupid with these on, but once the water pressure comes in, how's it? you've actually got quite a lot of dexterity to grab things, so... You might laugh at this one, but lambing gloves for your tank, that is my tip of the month, shall we call it. I don't know if I want to start a tip of the month because I probably can't keep up with that, but yeah, that's uh, that's the one that I found, so get yourself some lambing gloves. Like I said, I'll put them in the description below so you guys can go and buy them if you want them. So yeah, that's really my, uh, my top tip for this video. So again, I think um, this month I have rambled on and on and on again. Um, thanks very much to everybody who has watched the videos. I'm going to drop in a little clip now of the tank so you can see that. I know you guys like to see the tank, so I'll drop in a clip here of the tank so you can see how everything's doing. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Nothing massive to report in the tank to be honest, I've got some new frags growing out, um, can I, a lot of the coral has got a much bigger, um, my mushrooms seem to have got quite a bit bigger as well, they haven't split yet but they have got a lot bigger so I'm hopeful that will happen soon. Um, but yeah I mean, zoos and everything's grown really well, uh, if you watch my previous video you'll have seen about the um, hydrogen peroxide dip that I've done and so on, so yeah things are moving definitely in the right direction, um, tank seems to be doing well, touch wood. One last thing I wanted to touch on, um, two last things actually, more questions for you guys. So on this one I've been using this filter floss here, this just comes in a kind of big roll and I just cut it to whatever size that I need for a little overflow, mine's just cut little squares and put them in. So like I said I've been using this roll here, now this I think is a 5 metre roll, I have got lots of this left but I'm just wondering what filter floss you guys use. So. If you could let me know what filter floss you guys use and what your opinions are on it. I don't even know the manufacturer of this one, this was just a kind of 5 metre roll of filter floss that I got fair on it. So, 
yeah, that was the first thing. Second thing, um, kind of relates back to my, my point at the start of this video that you know a lot of you guys have um, subscribed recently and commented and so on and I've seen the numbers grow. Um, the analytics show me roughly where people's from but I just wondered where you guys are watching from. Um, so if you could just drop a comment in the description let me know where you're from um, and I'll get back to you. It's just interesting to see where everybody is. Uh, I know a lot of guys from America are there so that'd be cool to see you know what states you guys live in and so on. So. Yeah, if you drop that in the in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. So once again, thanks very much for watching the videos. Um, I hope you are enjoying them. If you are, let me know. Give a wee thumbs up to the video. If you're not, also let me know, and I'll see what I can do to help you. But yeah, thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video. I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So hopefully you guys are staying safe out there. Take care, folks. Bye bye.